Welcome to the boxinglocker.com. I am Matt Goddard, former professional boxer, now boxing coach and fully qualified personal trainer. Today I'm going to take you through a solo head movement drill, okay? So this drill here is perfect for people who have only got themselves in a mirror or just themselves in an open space to work on their technique, all right? You don't need any equipment whatsoever. You're going to get in your boxing position, nice and simple. We're working on punch, evade basis. So we're going to jab, outside slip, cross, outside slip. Jab, outside slip, cross, outside slip, okay? Nice, simple, very effective. You're taking your head off the center line, you're adding additional rotation to the punch and loading those shots every time by pulling the shoulder back, getting the legs involved. It's a great way to improve your slipping and to improve your counter punching off of that because you're going to automatically turn that punch into a muscle memory, an automated response. So when you slip, you'll just come back, slip, you'll just come back. You'll find it a lot easier that way to land those shots, okay? What we're going to add to that then is uh, to <clears throat> actually roll afterwards. So we jab, slip, cross, slip, hook, roll, roll, okay? Jab, slip, cross, slip, hook, roll, roll. A little bit more complex because the sequence is increasing in number. However, what we've got to remember is that the focus is on the technique of each individual aspect being correct. So you don't have to rush. You jab, slip, cross, slip, hook, roll under, roll under, back into that starting position, ready to go again. Now, when you're doing a drill like this, it's important that you build it up progressively. So don't try and start with the whole thing. Start with just the straight shots, do a three minute round working on those straight shots. Improve, improve, improve. Once you find that comfortable, once you have that smoothness, the fluidity, the transition point is a lot quicker. Then you add the next part with the hook and the rolls. Once you get that in, you then add this final section. Okay, so we're going to go jab, slip, cross, slip, hook, roll, roll, cross, pull back, cross. Okay, notice there's only the back foot moving there. So jab, slip, cross, slip. Hook, roll, roll, cross, pull back, cross. So what I'm doing is I'm dropping into that back leg and then driving back in through that forward movement and the rotation of it. Okay, so one more time. Jab, slip, cross, slip, hook, roll under, roll under, cross, pull back, cross. Straight back forward, rotating the foot, the hip and the shoulder, extending the arm out, aiming all my shots at the same point. Put it together a bit faster. Jab, slip, cross, slip, hook, roll, roll, cross, back, cross. One more time for you. Jab, slip, cross, slip, hook, roll, roll, cross, there, cross. Back through, okay? So, in the sequence, plain, simple, slowly, we're doing jab, outside slip, cross, inside slip, lead hook, roll one, roll two, cross, Step back, cross. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Practice, practice, practice. As I said, break each individual aspect down and practice that for two to three rounds even, three minute rounds, getting it right before you add the next aspect in and increase the difficulty and the complexity, okay? You do not have to rush with this kind of thing. Do it slowly. Make sure you're watching yourself if you have a mirror. If not, you're checking your position. As you slip, you can look down. Make sure your weight's nice and evenly distributed. Check the end of the punch. Make sure everything's rotated, your shoulder's gone through, your non-punching hand is high. Slip down, come back with a shot, make sure that arm's in line. Every aspect is correct. Non-punching hand always high, especially when we slip, we wanna make sure that we're coming up with the non-punching hand high all the time, so that you're protected. Shoulders and hips always rotating. Use the back foot and try and keep your weight evenly distributed on everything except for that step back while we come back into the punch. Hope you enjoyed the video, thank you for watching, I'll see you again for the next one and remember simple drills for simple skills, the more you do it the better you'll get.